Hello everyone, in this video we have this interesting problem. We have 7 to the power 5 to the power x is equal to 5 to the power 7 to the power x. And we have to find the value of x. But before we begin, you know the deal already. Pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. First, I'm going to introduce log in base 5 on the both side of the equation. So we have log in base 5 of 7 to the power 5 to the power x is equal to log in base 5 of 5 to the power 7 to the power x. Okay, now let's go ahead and then move this 5 to the power x to the front. So we have 5 to the power x log in base 5 of 7 is equal to, then I'll move this 7 to the power x to the front as well. So we have 7 to the power x log in base 5 of 5. All right. Now, if we simplify this, we have 5 to the power x log in base 5 of 7 is equal to, now this whole thing is equal to 1. So we have 7 to the power x here. Now, if you look at this equation very well, you can see that we still have the exponents over here. And to remove this, I'm going to introduce log in base 5 on the both sides of the equation once again. So we have log in base 5 of 5 to the power x log in base 5 of 7 is equal to log in base 5 of 7 to the power x. Now let's check this out. If I have log a times b, this is the same as log a plus log b. And this is in base 10, right? Now if you compare this one to what we have here, I can write this as log in base 5 of 5 to the power x plus log in base 5 of log base 5 of 7 and this is equal to log in base 5 7 to the power x. Okay, now let's go ahead and then move this x to the front. So we have x log in base 5 of 5 plus log in base 5 of log in base 5 of 7 and this is equal to i'll move this x to the front as well so we have x log in base 5 of 7 okay now everybody knows that log in base 5 of 5 is equal to 1 but because we want to simplify this let's maintain it okay so i'm gonna move the whole of this one to this side so we have log in base 5 of log in base 5 of 7 is equal to what we have here which is x log in base 5 of 7 minus this one which is x log in base 5 of 5. All right so I'll keep this one on the left hand side so we have log in base 5 of log in base 5 of 7 is equal to now let's go ahead and then factor x out so we have x into log in base 5 of 7 minus log in base 5 of 5. Right. Now considering the right hand side of this equation, I can write this as x into log in base 5 of 7 over 5. Okay. And the left hand side is equal to log in base 5 of log in base 5 of 7. Now, since we are looking for x, let's divide each side of this equation by log in base 5 of 7 over 5. Okay? Log in base 5 of 7 over 5. And straight away, you can see that the whole of this will take care of this, right? So we have x is equal to log in base 5 of log in base 5 of 7 divided by log in base 5 of 7 over 5. You can leave your answer in this form or you can write it as x is equal to log in base 7 over 5 of log base 5 of 7. Okay, and this is our final answer. Now, if you type this on a calculator, you'll be getting approximately 0.5642. Okay, so guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day and then see you again on the next video.